Mash IQ provides a single place to create rich reports incorporating AppSpiral formatted financial information. The Mash IQ Report Writer allows you to author your document using a WYSIWYG HTML editor. You can apply style sheets, either preset or custom defined, and embed spreadsheets, graphs, and XPRL information ready for publishing to a number of destinations. Our first step today is to add some company financial information in XPRL to our document. We start this by clicking on the settings link from our document's XPRL section. MashIQ can add your XPRL data from either the local file system or from the web using a URL. For this example we use two SEC filings for Chevron and Exxon. Once we have specified the locations of the XPRL documents and they have been verified, we can select the content we need from them by clicking on the Advanced Settings button. MashIQ will now read the XPRL document to understand what reports, accounting items and periods are defined. We can select the report we want for each company we have loaded from the drop-down lists. In this example we will compare items from the balance sheets of our two companies. We are intending to compare information from two separate companies, so we need to select similar reporting periods from each. We do this by choosing the period from each report that we are interested in viewing. We are now ready to generate a view of the XPRL reports we selected for the period we specified. MashIQ has extracted the information from the XPRL documents and we are now ready to represent this to form our desired report. One of the most powerful features of MashIQ is the ability to embed spreadsheets into the report, giving a familiar user experience for working with financial information. To add a spreadsheet, or calculate as it is known in MashIQ, we simply drag a new calculate from our templates menu into our document. The XPRL information we have brought into MashIQ will need a little tidying in order to create our desired report. To do this we can simply copy the entire XPRL view that was generated into our spreadsheet. The original XPL data and view remain unmodified by any actions we take and can be hidden away while we work on our spreadsheet. We will need to align some of the values in our report due to the different way they are formatted in the original XPRL documents. We just cut and paste the cells in the spreadsheet to align these. There are also sections of the report that we cannot compare, so we will need to remove these from the spreadsheet by selecting the rows we do not need and then deleting them. We repeat this tidying process until we are left with the desired balance sheet items for comparison. We will now repeat this process by adding another XPRL viewer to our document and selecting the Statement of Income reports for both companies. We now have two spreadsheets within our document. We will now enrich the financial report by performing a calculation on our comparison data. We'll add a new spreadsheet into our report and add our reporting labels. We will calculate a simple return on assets calculation for each company. To do this we can reuse the values from our balance sheet and statement of income. 
We select the values we want to reuse and then copy and paste the cells into our new spreadsheet. To define a calculation we can simply enter the formula into the presented input box using the mouse if desired to select the cells we wish to utilise. Once we've defined the formula we can copy and paste itself to automatically recalculate for the row below. To change the visual appearance of the spreadsheet cells, we select them and choose Format Cells from the context menu. We can then modify font, borders and colours as required. We are now ready to publish our report as an inline XBRL document so it can be viewed easily using a standard web browser but also processed by inline XBRL aware computer processors. We can see the output viewed in the browser. All XBRL values have been highlighted in yellow and red. The calculation that we performed is not XBRL, so this has not been tagged. This report can also be published directly into the MashIQ report cloud to allow others to view and reuse its content, either in the MashIQ report product or through their blog or tweets.